<laughs> They're trying to style being poor into catchy terminology. Um, I saw this tweet. They, they've come up with a new word for desperately working multiple jobs just to be able to afford rent. Polyworking. Gen Z and millennial employees embrace the concept of polywork. Why the f do they have to give names that sound like, oh, this must be a new trend? Why must they give names to things that are like not good things? There's a growing rejection among millennials and Gen Zs as they attempt to move away from the traditional office jobs and into polyworking. No, this isn't this isn't something people want. This isn't something people want to do. This is not. So oh my god, I'm going to. I I'm losing my. I'm going to lose my goddamn mind. And we're not even at 11 p.m. yet. This isn't something people actually want to do. No one actually wants to work more. No one ends their one job and says, you know what? You know what sounds fantastic to keep making money at my other job for the next eight out. No, no one says that. No one says that. Ask any gig worker. Ask any gig worker right now. Exactly. What the fuck? Why? Ask any gig worker who is working Lyft or Uber Eats or whatever the hell driving service they may be doing or whatever, like, you know, independent work that they have to be doing outside of their other job. Ask them. More work is bad work-life balance. It is true. This is like, would you rather get paid what you're making now at this gig job on top of what you're getting paid at your work if you just got paid more at your work? Like, would you have this job if you got paid more at your other job? Or like, do you just genuinely like Picking up people's food and driving around and taking the toll on your fucking car every day. Like, I don't know. There's a growing rejection to move away from traditional office. The, the reason that they are quote unquote moving away from traditional office jobs isn't because they want to. I ain't leaving my office, but, but that's the thing. It's not that you want to leave your office job in favor of working many jobs. It's worse. It's you keep your office job and you work more after your office job somewhere else. That sounds so silly to me. Like no one actually wants that. Negative amounts of people actually want that. You actually owe people in order for that to reach like zero people again. A lot of my high school teachers, are yeah, same, same with mine. But that's because they were high school teachers at a public school in California, in the Bay Area, and they were, they could barely make rent with just their wage as uh, 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 being a teacher in the public school system. So they worked grocery jobs. They worked, you know, retail jobs. They worked whatever part-time jobs they could on top of them being a literal teacher. Literally one of the most important people you in your life is now also delivering pizzas to you not because they want to not because uh, they're interested in poly work this poly work thing is back yeah it's just it's just like trying to rebrand it's trying to rebrand and normalize the idea that paying people less is okay and it's not the cost of living increases not at the rate that the wage for our age group increases. Rebrand not being, no. they pivoted, they pivoted being poor into cool words. They literally are trying to style, they're trying to style being poor into catchy terminology.